All right, well, joining me now is Dan Roach and Tony Maserati. Good to see you guys. Nice to be here, Stephen. Great piece, as usual. Thanks. Don't touch me. <laughs> Don't worry. As a matter of fact, I'm surprised you guys are sitting that close to each other. <laughs> yeah, it's a little too close for comfort, actually. All right, here's the first question right out of the gate. Who's your leader, the Red Sox? Who is your leader? Hold on. Before I, you guys even answer that, here's where I want to go with it. I want Mookie Betts to be their leader. So do I. I want Jackie Bradley Jr. to be their leader. Okay, Jackie. You look at the Patriots, okay? You look at Matthew Slater, okay? He's a leader. Not a big guy, but still a leader on that team. I want these two guys to stand up and be one of the leaders. Go ahead, Roger. Roger. Something there. that didn't happen last year that I think needs to happen, I agree with all, both of you. I think Betts, Bogarts, Bradley Jr., Pedroia, those guys should be your leaders, but not just one guy, as we heard Pedroia say. And, you know, you can't replace David Ortiz, but I think that it's time for those young players to step up here and take it to that next level if they're going to have success in the playoffs here in Boston. Yeah, to me, Betts is the guy. It's got to be him. He's the best combination of personality and talent. So, look, Bradley's got some of it in him, too, I Sorry? think, in terms of leadership skills. I just don't know if he's a good enough player. So how do you get on someone's tail when you're hitting 235? Like, I just don't think it works. So, but Betts, to me, Betts has got the personality. Betts has got the ability. Why are these guys hesitant? to stand up, step up in that leadership role. So I, I'd be eager to get Rochi's assessment of this because all due respect, you, you're around him a heck of a lot more than I am in this day and age. But with Pedroia being out at the beginning of the year, I actually think there's an opening there. I think there's an opportunity now because there's a void. And most, most times it is, you know, service time's a big part of it. The length of time you've been around, a guy like Betts probably is gonna defer to a guy like a Pedroia because he's the veteran and senior guy. We saw this with John Lester and Josh Beckett, right? Until Beckett got out of the picture, Lester didn't become who Lester was. And I think it's sort of a similar thing with the position. Yeah, I don't guys. feel like they've established, they, they feel that they've established themselves enough yet in the big leagues to take that role. Anthony Rizzo is that guy, but he's hit lights out with the Cubs and has always had that natural leadership ability. We haven't seen that from Mookie or Xander. They don't have that natural leadership ability, but it's time for them to take charge and go for, the, go and, for it from there. And I, and I think, think that's what Cora might help. I think it depends on your personality, too. I think when Kurt Schilling came in here, Schilling became your leader. Well, look just at, But again, he's one of those guys. The, the one thing I always say about these guys, Steve, is if you look at them, okay, and they've been here for a number of years now. Bogarts, Bradley, Betts, those three guys. Have you ever seen a mad on the field? A and when I say that, I mean as a fan, and I'm not saying that's the be-all and end-all. Right. Because there's a lot of guys who play even keeled. I'm just telling you that it's hard to really know what makes a guy tick until you see the whole thing. Okay. And I, I don't know that we've ever seen these guys get angry, and I think they need to let us in there. And you don't know if they'll pull anybody aside. That's another thing. After, not in the limelight, but will they pull aside a guy and say, you need to do it this way? Next subject. Red Sox going in with the exact same team they had a year ago. Except for the manager. I think that's, the, to me... Has Dave Dombrowski done his job? We're going to find out. To me, the future of the Red Sox and this season rides on one guy this year. It's not Price. It's, not, it's, it's Alex Cora. He's brought in to get the young guys to develop, grow, relax, do what they need to do, hit the opposite field, become the players they are, and create a culture around that team where it's fun to come to the park every day, it's fun to play baseball, fun to be on a team, and fun to win. If he doesn't, free agents next year, the Harpers and all those big guys won't want to play here. If he does, there's a chance they could sign one of those, lower one of those big free agents. The I mean, Muskies are on his job? No. No, he, he whiffed. The Stanton was out there. They missed the boat. He whiffed on it. Now, I think at this stage, they're better off waiting. I'd rather wait and see what's available at the deadline. Well, if they get out of the gate, good. Maybe he didn't whiff. Okay, but so look, that said, I'm just telling you in terms of adding power, they whiffed. They missed the boat. Stanton was the guy they should have gone after, and they missed it. J.D. Martinez is no Giancarlo Stanton. That said, I disagree with Rochi. Cora will help. Cora will help just because he's not Farrell. So that part of it will be good. I'm serious. I think it's addition by subtraction. Well, let me, uh, but the three guys to watch, Price, Bogarts, Raphael Devers, they didn't get really max out of any of those three guys. They didn't They're, get max out of any of them, Tony, and that's why Cora is here. Okay, but those guys have the biggest upside. Bogarts. No, Bogarts is a guy that could be huge for this team. Betts, look, go up and down that lineup. They need to, guys to get to their potential, and, it, and it's all on Cora. But we've been you saying say potential. We've it's been talking about potential with Farrell's these guys. Because not here. To me, it's Cora. He's got to be the guy that releases them and gets them going. Tony, the what's, the, what's, Tony what's the honeymoon for Cora? How long does he have here? A week. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I'm joking. You, you, I hope, hopefully, hopefully you are. So but no, no, no. What I'm saying is, right. you you attack managers like 
No, no, like nothing. We all attack me. Not we all. No, you got a pronoun, bro. Of course, Steve. He's going to get a free pass for most of the season if you want to know the reality of it. But but not by you. But if they get off to a slow start and all of a sudden the managerial change doesn't have the impact everyone thought it did, then where do you turn? You turn to the players. So I'm I'm not going after core. You know the 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 manager last year didn't exactly set a great um, culture there. I think. But they won, right? They they won the division. But this team is one and six in the playoffs the right. last two years. That's, That's not good enough. Uh, we got to go. Let them breathe a little bit. We get before tight. you just I'm start. I'm not getting yeah. on the manager. I want to see the players. Welcome produce. to talk radio, Steve. Exactly. Everything's negative. They hate yeah. the world. Welcome to late night TV. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Tony Maz. I hate everything.